Seven Strangers, One House, The Real World's Back, Season 33, Atlanta. Stay tuned. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Hey, what up, AfterBuzzers? It's your boy, DJ Jesse J, live in studio for The Real World, Season 33, Atlanta, with my homegirl, Sensei Don't Play. Hey, everyone. The Real World is back, and it's only about to get realer because we up in here talking about it. Okay. Okay. You better do a little segment right, right there. That was cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so Facebook Live, MTV's trying this whole new thing out. I don't know if I'm here for it. I don't know yet. either. I like kind of like it being on TV. I kind of like it being on scheduled programming time. Yeah. Because why is it now coming out at 9 p.m.? Like it's just too much. Like yeah. what? No. I, so unfortunately, I we can only do one episode, this episode today. For mm-hmm. First episode. So we we'll doing a little rewind. We'll come back to you next week. Okay. Um, it got 1.9 million viewers, 540 shares. 983 comments, which I was like, Ooh, that's not that bad. Yeah, not too for many. The million, 1.9 million views, but that is a lot. Uh, yeah. And 1.7K likes, hearts, and angry faces. Mm. <laughs> also, this season, it's only 22 or 25 minutes long. I felt like it was a lot of like cutting and editing and like there was. it's like this is the topic we're talking about racism and here's the scene from them being having racial conversation here's the topic about Christianity I wasn't mm. I mean like I want to see it unfold definitely I mean in 25 minutes they can't do it all but I mean we definitely got to see the major clips yeah. within the episode so it's literally like watching it and breaking down like the best of the best clips yeah. within probably so that we'll day see, yeah, we'll so. see like how the whole season turns out I mean there's definitely feel, enough for me to talk about I mean I wrote two pages and <laughs> okay. I couldn't believe that <laughs> it just uh, got too real too, too quick, quick. Okay, like, first of all like... so fun story I actually applied for this season Oh, and I got to like the certain rounds and I was like, mm, I don't know if I should be doing this. And I didn't go to one of the one of the final interviews. And well, yeah, I just feel like I would have been quiet in a corner like um, not Sipping talking tea, to honey, anybody. Some or party, honestly, some real tea. Okay. probably would have been in an argument the first night. Oh, but anyways, definitely. let's talk about it. So okay. seven strangers. First person we meet is Clint, 28 years old. Very handsome. Snooze fest, though. I mean, he's not a snooze fest. A bit of a snooze fest. He's going to be giving us all the love drama, okay? This boy oh. came in hot. All so right. He white, came in. Always a handsome ready white to fall man. In love, just trying to bang like, a white like girl. A, first of all, he was looking like a Prince Charming, okay? We can't even girl, lie. He looked like Prince Charming. Looking like the brawny man. I'm done. I'm Not even. He was, he's cute. He was he's handsome. Cute. He's the thing is, he's a with farm, him. fourth generation farmer. <laughs> right. <laughs> Come from a small town. I want to keep it that way. And I'm also a Republican. Right. I mean, that right there, I was like, oh gosh, here we go. He's going to be quite opinionated. But if he just didn't talk and he just stood there with like a Prince outfit on, I'd be like, okay, mm-hmm. I'm here for it. But I think he's going to be giving us definitely his opinion. He's definitely a lover. I mean, he came off right back, didn't even know the woman for 24 hours and was like, I'm into her. Yeah, I think it's weird that they have phones. And me too. Cause like, it's like, I don't think I like it, actually. Well, homegirl lost her phone the first night. Like, uh, so then we have Justin, who's 26, from Atlanta. Um, he is a human rights activist. He empowers black people. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, he's very opinionated and very... Judgy a little bit. He does come off a little bit judgy, which we'll get more into that. Then we yeah. met Tova, 27, Arizona. Oh, Toba. Um, I like the way she thinks, actually. Okay, She's not as first, dumb as I thought she'd be. At first, her voice was, like, arcing me, but then <laughs> I was like, okay, actually, like kind of think I'm going to like her. I Me think I too. would like talk to her in the house. She keeps it a lot more real than I thought she would. Right. She's and like, you know, people think I was like privileged. You are. <laughs> <laughs> um, but okay. Right. But you know what I mean? We're not there yet. You haven't yeah. learned that lesson. Then we mm-hmm. met Megan, 23, Louisiana, Christian Southern, conservative, wants change. This is a girl who at first I pr- would probably irk my nerves, but I feel like I feel like she might get turned out. I kind of think. I mean, she was over here trying to get people to fuck, and she yeah. a virgin. I the was two like, Christians bitch, what? Are like, like oh! oh, go get you some because we can't. <laughs> you know. Oh well, all right, that Sodom is. and Gomorrah. <laughs> uh, then we got uh, Arlie, which twenty one years old, and wish we knew where she was from because <laughs> MTV shady. Honey. 
That we'll was talk, rude. Okay, I'm should we so just sorry. should we just give them the side eye? Right. So we have a little award section. So every week we're gonna give a side mm. eye, a hand to the chest, and what was the other one? And the, I can't. Yes, and I can't moment. So this moment wins our side eye of the week. Basically, because mm. MTV, y'all was shady. Now, just because she is a dreamer, a DACA recipient, um, <coughs> had a baby at 17, which she's only 21, uh, from originally from Mexico, but, she, but she'd been living out here. Y'all could have put where I mean, she was like, staying. I mean, it's like, literally, it says that she don't live nowhere. Like, she's just <laughs> out here. Like, they could have said Mexico City, or they could have just said where she's living. Like, yeah. where is your house, woman? But honestly, she'd prob- that this would probably be my best friend in the house, because well, she's definitely. just, like, junk, and, like, but she just wants to that's live in party. hella shady for She them gets to, to be not... away from her kid. Like, yeah. leave her alone. I know. Um, Yasmin, um, she she is all over the place. She oh, is yes, Muslim, man. queer, uh, sexually fluid. She's here for the hairy people. Okay. Yep. Um, she's an immigrant. She's 27 years old. She seems cool, like chill. Like I think I'd she's... smoke a cigarette with her. Hookah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't smoke cigarettes, but, but um, I definitely would probably smoke weed with her. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and just have like conversations of like her life because it's probably way more fun than mine. <laughs> Like, girl, what did you get into in life? Girl, you okay, just sitting cause... there with all the hands in the chat. <laughs> and they... um, then we met Dondre, 25, Houston, Texas. Yes, Mr. Houston, Texas. I was here for him. Yep, and I was very intrigued with him because obviously initial thought, I thought he was attractive when I seen like the ads of him. I was like, okay, Dondre, and he's gay. Okay. I didn't um, know he was gay until he said it on the show. Yeah, because I, I heard like... some tea about him, like the them being like getting into a fight because he's black, gay, and Christian. Uh, and like that issue um but then i needed i'm like but i held off on like cuteness award because i was like mm, let me hear what you're about for real then yeah so that's our cast and crew um hand to the chest moment though Dondre goes to you okay. you met this girl and she done told you she was a dreamer and he done shut her dream down Oh, well, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you you shouldn't come, come here, here legally. legally. <laughs> like, first of all, I'm sure she signed papers to come onto this show, okay? Secondly, why are you even coming at her that hot like, about her all, saying she's a dreamer and you're about to be like, well, I just don't think y'all shouldn't come over here legally. Can like, keep that to yourself in your mind in that moment. Can we see the house first? Can I get to know your full name, where you're from first? Like, before you telling me what you think? And then he uh, obviously, and then he goes in to say, oh, you're a teen mom. What's wrong with being a teen mom? Yeah, and that was like, wow, all right, judgmental. And there are you're... people, grown people out here can't to even take care of their kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, one, you're gay. Two, you're black you should be a little empathetic to being that kind of judgmental but you're christian and we all know how the church thinks. what does christian have to do with mm, because you know, the church look at I, what would jesus do i am christian uh orthodox christian and the thing is is a lot of churches <laughs> they promote they don't promote but they, they promote they, mexicans they, coming over the border illegally Girl, what? Well, I'm. That's what I'm saying. That what was his what point saying. with Christian and the him ju- saying the being judgmentalness about that. of it is that a lot of there are a lot of Christians, a lot of people within the church, and a lot of people are leaving the church right now because they're like, oh, because they're. So I feel judgmental. like they're so judgmental. You're sitting here telling me A, B, and C, but e, we we are not supposed to judge others. Well, that's okay. That's my whole point. Hello. Okay, so that kind of got in him yeah, to be a little spicy. That's what, but it's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's mm, whatever. It's too much. All right. Speaking too many of, judges up in this bed. Speaking of judgmentals, Justin <laughs> and Andre, they both judged each Justin other. Justin Juddy. <laughs> Andre said that Justin looked like the black Jesus. Which he I'm like, he was wearing a yellow t shirt. First of all, Jesus, and there would be people that would probably argue this, but Jesus didn't have dreads from what we know and didn't wear, I don't know what kind of hat that oh, is. Oh, wait, hold on. Dante said that Justin looked Dandre. like the Jesus. Yep. And then, oh my God. And then didn't... Justin said that he was confused by Dandre for wearing a yellow shirt and maybe he wants to be white. These Judge what? Judy's need to get it together, okay? Because there is no First reason. First of all, you sound crazy because he's wearing a yellow shirt. He lo- wants to be white. Like, here's my thing. Like, you're supposed to be pushing the culture forward, right? By saying that, like, 
it just didn't make sense at all at all like actually it that's racist and judgy like i, I mean just, it's I clear know. that you know everyone shirt. is coming in super strong hot judging each other right off I mean, the bat we, we i mean in hot too. <laughs> you can judge me too right now okay i got these big ass hoops on okay i'm wearing some like studded ass shit like what they gonna say you know they probably ripped me a new one i don't know that's fine <laughs> um all right so the house was cute though i thought it was cute what couch the big square the house couch. was cute oh the house uh-huh Girl. The couch looks comfortable. Clear them out. Clear them out. <laughs> clear them out. Clear them out. No, the house was actually really cute. That uh, pool was everything. Yeah. Um, the pool was cute. Uh, we super find cute. out Justin has a girlfriend, <laughs> and Yasmin's par- has a partner, but she's fluid, meaning like, I guess they can do what they want. They do what they want. Do what you want with my body. Dondre came. Dondre. Dondre. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> Came out, told everyone that he was gay and that not a lot of people know that, but his yeah. mom knows it and I guess supports him. Justin's another comment. Um, as long as he respects me and my, my maleness, you know, I'm good. I knew something was up, though. Oh, again with the yellow shirt. So because he wore a yellow shirt, you knew something was a little bit fishy. <laughs> I can't. I just, I'm just not understanding it. I can't. Um, Megan. The Bible says one man, one woman. <laughs> I'm a virgin. I dated only one man and I uh, kissed in college with my little lips. And pretty much saying that she feels exposed that someone that, you know, is gay that is in the house. She feels well, like good, it's girl. Too much. You probably should be. I'm exposed. like, girl, where have you been literally underneath the rock? Like, Do you have TV, Netflix, Hulu, anything? Like, and I just can't. Turn I mean, the fucking TV on, girl. girl. Open, read. Educate yourself. I don't know. Okay? Do something. There's a more than one book. Do something but being clueless, okay? Um, what else we got? Dondre brings up the Colin Kaepernick situation, which I'm like, when did they film this that you're even bringing this up? Right. Um, again, people, educate yourself yeah. before making commentary. Well, and you know, that's honestly what I liked about Clint is mm-hmm. that he was like, you know what, I'm going to walk away from this because I don't have the knowledge. And mm, a lot of people I talk like when that. they... I, a lot of people talk when but they why, don't have the knowledge and then they sound dumb. That doesn't mean that he doesn't have the knowledge. He, I felt like that was a scapegoat. All the white people walked away at that conversation and I'm like, you know what? There's a little bit of racism in that, to be honest. Like, you don't know it, but these are the people you're going to live in a house with. Have a conversation. Ask questions. I mean, I would Educate say yourself. what I think. Educate yourself. You look crazy. Every time we have a serious debate now, you going over to a couch. Now that, see, this is where I couldn't be in the house. Okay, well, I'd look, be right look, over with a teacup. Okay, okay next but to look, Clint, let like, me see. Hold on. Clint, why are you over here sitting on the couch? Uh, but Jesse, this is my thing. Well, think have, about it. Hold on. There, think Google. about it. No, well, hold no. the fuck up real quick. No, no, okay. They are coming onto national TV. Mm-hmm. Like, at first, they need to figure out what's happening. You know, they coming in hot with the question. And if they don't know what to say right away, I don't blame them for just stepping away. Maybe think about it, then state your opinion. You know, if they're not talking about it on the daily, you know, like Justin talks about it on the daily, which is amazing. He's, you know, doing his thing and empowering, you know, the African-American culture, everything like that, you know, which is amazing. But a lot of people like, you know, the white folk that were in that clip, they weren't really saying anything because they didn't know what to say right away. But that's the problem with America right now. I get it. I get. I understand the point. They just were like, "Oh shit!" Like, let me walk away and figure out what I'm, how I'm going to handle these situations because it's so (laughs) serious right now. I get it. I mean, it it fucking is. I get it, but there's a problem there with that. That there's a problem where white people don't want to have conversation. They don't want to confront certain things, and it's not about confronting it, but it's about educating yourself and saying, "You know what? I don't really know what happened." I don't yeah. understand what happened. Because guess what? A lot of people don't know what happened. What Colin actually did, he actually sat with a vet and said, you know, I don't want to disrespect this country. What's something I can do that will still show respect to the country but show that I am standing up? And a vet actually told him, stand on one knee. It's still respect to the flag. Mm-hmm. And the whole world... Yeah. Mostly white America made it into, oh, he's disrespecting well, the country and the flag. That's too so much. That, but that's a conversation. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. I didn't know that until you two weeks ago me. after Buzz TV talking TED Talks. You guys can check it out after <laughs> the show. Um, but I think this is the problem. And this is what angers a lot of black people or a lot of people of color is that it's like, okay, as soon as a conversation comes up, either a white person either 
gets upset about it and wants to be like, well, no, I, I didn't say that. That's not what, you know what I mean? Or they walk away from it yeah. instead of just being quiet, listening to the other side and, and saying, kind of making yo, your I, never, I never looked at it that way. Yeah. Why do you feel that way? And I'm sorry if that offends you. Like, well, there's yeah, just a different way. but there's not a lot way. of people. I mean, I'm just looking at the people that they're bringing on these shows, you know, I get how it. they are. And I feel like though they will learn, especially after the last conversation, once we get back more into the episode later on, you know, they tell that to them talking about, you know, you guys don't say anything. Yeah. You guys have no Clock comment. The tea. You know, which they did. And the thing is, is I feel like they just but they it's need like to start also saying like, how they feel or how to make it better, I guess. Yeah, you know? and I think that there's a way of having the conversation and I hope Justin gets better at it because um Justin's delivery and Dondre's delivery, they're just and I think that there's a way to have a conversation because that Tova I thought almost was going to go over the handle, but we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. So, you know, Dondre even got to the point of saying, create your own league. Um, that's very problematic, Dondre, to even say something like that. that we want inclusion. Um, mm -hmm. Clint said he wasn't educated. I wrote ask questions then. Um, then Clint, our I can't moment of the night. Oh, yeah. We were going to give him the I can't when he said, I didn't know if Cardi B was a man or a woman. Clint. I can't. You definitely should have just been quiet in that moment. Okay. <laughs> Out of all the fucking moments you wanted to be quiet, you <laughs> wanted to speak your mind on that. You really are dumb. Uh, Megan is insecure and ashamed of her body. Do you know why you are, girl? <sighs> I'd been insecure with that turtleneck. Okay. Oh. I'm just like, I'm but just I think this house is going to turn Megan out, honestly. Yeah, I think I so, I think too. it's the way she was raised. She was, you know, raised to be, um, I don't know what the word I want to use is, so I'm not going to use anything. Yeah. But she was raised to be within herself, and I think now she's going to finally get to explore life. You know what I say. And not just this one little place that she was born and she was told what to believe. Yeah. And now she will get to experience life and see life yeah. in a bigger scale um, and yeah. make her own conclusions of that. Mm -hmm. Day two, Justin was the tour guide, took them to a lot of different art places, Martin Luther King's old house, his church. Um, then they went to a bar that night called the church something. And I was yeah. like, wow, how sacrilegious they is this? They had the, um, the, little, the robe, the choir robe. robes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That was fun. Um, Arlie got drunk, lost her phone. Oh, man. She definitely <laughs> just turned 21. Yeah. Okay, does not know how to control that liquor. But you know what? I'm not even mad at her because it's like she had a baby at 17. Oh, yeah. This is probably her first time ever, like, she is ready living to her partay. life. Yeah, so I'm here for it. Get yeah. it, girl. Um, both the Christians chanting for Tova and Clint <laughs> to hook up, which we were talking before they even did that, right. wanting them to hook up. Um, so they get back to the house, and Arlie was, uh, I'm just going to call her Lee. We're gonna, I'm going to call her Lee because I don't, Arlie, I don't really mm -hmm. don't know if I'm saying it correctly. Um, Lee and Clint, she was like, Do you want me to find out if Tova likes you? And he was like, I don't know. Like, do you think so? Like, such a big baby. It's like, dude. And so he texts her. You're literally in a house with her. And Tova was like, I kind of thought that was pussy. And like, I don't know if I actually like and, that. And that's Which I why, think is yeah, she's legit. being reasonable. And I think that's why it's like, why do you have phones there? Like, take away their phones. Let them. Force them to have to talk yes, to each other. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Big mistake, MTV. Yeah. Come mm -hmm. on, Bunum. Bunum MR. Yasmin, Justin, um, came out to say to Dondre that it's strange seeing a queer Christian, a queer black Christian Republican. And he said, why? <laughs> um, and, you know, it's funny because I've heard both sides of this. Um, I've, I heard where Dondre comes from and I've heard where Justin comes from. And I think that there can be a middle ground Um you know, because I'm not going to say that with Dondre's experience, obviously Dondre's experience versus Justin's experience, they're two different experiences, um, but they share a lot of the same history. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, their beliefs were different. You know, I think Yasmin will be the one to bring everyone together. Yeah, because she seems like Very, the most middle ground. Yeah. Like she can sit, empathize with Dondre, empathize with Justin, and she'll listen. And she yeah. knows how to take that information in and not 
speak it seems like she doesn't she doesn't speak with anger where justin gets frustrated and it's like you can't yeah. teach someone out of frustration well and that's why i kind of got frustrated with um we're calling her lee mm-hmm. you know when she, she told and it's tovey tova tova when she totally was like are you kidding me anything like I well, was, Lee wasn't a part of that. Oh, but Toba was. Because Lee technically is a minority. So right. It was the three white <laughs> girls. It was Megan, Tova, and... I, I think it was Tova. That's the one who I was, like, kind of frustrated with. Yeah, the fact was, that she didn't oh, even I say anything. Wasn't. She wasn't? No, no. Lee was sitting there, but... Okay, but she wasn't a part of that. Yeah, that was the... actually kind of weird that they wrapped her up with right? the white girls. <laughs> right? She's uh, an immigrant. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. But anyway, so when Tova started, you know, getting defensive, like, oh my God, are you serious? Like, I was like, this okay is making you look bad now. Yeah. Like, you know, but do you see what I'm saying? Like, white people comment. do two things. Yeah, it's like, it's either they, get they walk offended. away or they get it. Yeah. I know. And it's like, you say in that moment, like, you know, <sighs> I feel very uneducated in this. And when I have voiced my honest opinion, you know, I I personally feel like it's taken the wrong way. And I would love to no i would love to find a comfortable way to be able to communicate my thoughts Mm -hmm. with a person of color yeah like i think that we just live in a day and age where you can do that and you know with justin getting up and walking up like it's just like both sides have to be open to that conversation yeah you know we saw dondre he sat down he was willing to sit and listen yasmin sat down she was willing to listen um but Tova, we can't have an opinion. We will we'll get shit on compared and then compared it to sports. But here's the thing. Like, again, you're comparing <sighs> two crazy things. Mm-hmm. Your opinion will get shit on if it is a negative opinion. Well, that's what I'm saying. So to me, I'm like, so do you only have negative opinions to say? Like the fact that you're saying that you get criticized for what you say. Maybe I don't want to hear what you have to say, actually. <laughs> but, <laughs> but maybe what you have to say in your opinion isn't really your opinion. It's you it's have just, to learn how to yeah. correctly voice your opinion. Well, I need more answers on everyone's opinions next episode. Just saying, like, I need to see well, where these Clint people are walks at. Away. Yeah. And I guess, I mean whatever so we gotta wrap this up i know we're gonna wrap this up but um, so this is gonna be just an interesting season yeah i'm excited to see what the second episode is i mean it's like riles up i mean my thing is is this actually what would be really cool is instead of them having their phones mm, well because it's already pre-taped i was like that would be really cool if they were in the live chat like in a live chat but they're not actually live it's already taped yeah I don't know. I just the phone thing threw me off. It, yeah, it, when she says she lost her phone, I'm like, mm, they're a lot of have phones. And it then whenever you texted her, I was like, mm, this is weird. It waters something down because it's like, so can you just text anyone out here? Like that he was on Instagram. She knew that he was on Instagram the day before. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I mean, maybe they're trying to make it like very like because social media is a big thing. So maybe they're trying to make it a thing, a part of the show. But I think that just gets it way too more messy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I so. just, I don't know. I wasn't here for it. All right. Yeah. Well, on that note, do we have news and gossip this week? Um, well, Are You the One starts up next week, and they are a sexually fluid cast, and you can catch me there next week. Okay. Um, Thursdays uh, at 8 p.m. After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. Oh, that'll be interesting. MTV's really trying to do I it like up. Now, it. Uh, the other thing is, is they did four seasons of The Real World, like in different countries. Really? So I'll be interested to see how they hmm. are going to, if they're going well, to air back to back to back. Well, I was surprised that they, I mean, did they ever do a real world in Atlanta before? I don't know. I think they did, though. Yes. Hmm. I want to, oh, no, that was DC. Real yeah, I don't world know. Atlanta. They might have. No. I don't well. Think so. Well, all right. Um. Yeah. All right. On that note, let's head into predictions. Let's do it. Your After Buzz TV predictions. Clint, being a big baby, wants Tova, and Tova's like, mm, I don't know if I want a man right now. <laughs> Smart. Okay. Smartest thing. We've right. all watched The Real World. Don't get into a, 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 don't do a it. TV situationship. 
Yeah. Just don't do it. Um, and so he's sad. He's like, I just need to find someone who just likes me. Like, like yourself. Okay? First of all, not only that, but then you were talking about like trying to hook up with the girl at the hotel. Like right. all these girls you hook up with. Like, I'm good, love, enjoy. Right. Um, then we got Justin. We get Justin versus Clint, okay. where Justin says, "You are the most racist person in this in this house." They're talking about white male supremacy, and right. Clint gets very upset and argumentative over it. Um, I first saw this coming every well, time clint walked away the way yeah. justin speaks like you know i there's a balance you know yeah. when you want to teach somebody when you see something in somebody instead of poking and agitating you know sit down have that conversation you've right. got to live in this house with these people like well i hope you know people start talking and start getting real and mm -hmm. really just expressing their opinions so people so all of them can work through everything that they have on their minds, everything they're trying to bring to the table, everything that they're trying to do and support through this, you know. Who's having sex first? Ooh. Clint's definitely bringing back a girl from the club first. To get what's her name. Oh, at. yeah. He's just gonna do it. Yep. Lee, I think. Definitely. Lee or Yasmin, too. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Yasmin's gonna be fun, but I think she's gonna watch people and have fun too, cause I she's smarter than that a yep. little bit. She's gonna be like, mm, I'm gonna sit back <laughs> and be cute. And so we'll be watching <laughs> next week's uh, episode. Right. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys hit us up across all media platforms at AfterBuzz TV. Where can everyone follow you? Y'all can follow me at Sensei Don't Play. You know, and you guys can hit me up everywhere at DJ Jesse J. Till next week, same time, same place. Peace. Peace. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.